K-State had taken down the Cyclones 11 of the past 12 years. Saturday was payback time, and for first place Iowa State, it was glorious. A whooping of historic proportions in front of a few hundred family members. Three minutes in, Brock Purdy to Joe Skates, 33-yard touchdown at 7-0 Iowa State, and we're doing a dance. No scoring again until mid-second, but they caught up in a hurry. Brock to Charlie Kohler, 14-0, his 14th career reception for touchdown, seventh most in Cyclone history for tight end, or for anybody. Still 14-0 in the second. This time, Purdy up to Xavier Hutchinson, who has come on strong lately. What a catch, 21 zip. The X-Man had six catches, 111 yards in the touchdown. Purdy went for 236 and three. Two minutes later, you knew it would happen, Brees Hall. Sliding through tackles, the nation's leading rusher, 33-yard touchdown, it's 28-0 still in the second. The defense, dominant. K-State shorthanded today, and Iowa State at full strength and full of talent. Like Mike Rose, fourth interception of the season, leads the Big 12. Still a minute on the clock, and you better believe the Cyclones are going to cash that one in. Paul with another huge day. That made it 35-0 right before the half. They outgained K-State 5-39. To 149. Hall went for 135 yards and two scores. They win 45 0, biggest in the series since 1978. Elgin Rocker was there for the Farmageddon fun. With every passing week that Iowa State sits atop the Big 12 standings, the dream season becomes more and more of a reality, especially with this win over Kansas State, a result that happened only once in 10 previous meetings before today. And talk about payback. 45 to nothing, the biggest win over the Wildcats since 1943. To me, uh, it's not about offense and defense. I think when we're playing great football, we're playing as one team. And you saw that again tonight in, in a lot of the football game. And, you know, it's the defense getting the ball back for the offense, the offense efficiently moving the football. Um, you know, it's playing together. Well, the great part is, is I think we can still play a lot better. So we still have a lot more room for growth. And I'm just really excited to see us uh, really reach that full, full potential. You know, I think it just all goes back to how we prepared this week. Um, you know, we prepared really hard. I feel like we had our, our best week of practice all season. And, you know, with that being in November, I think that's huge. We played two games in the month of November up until this point, And um, I, I've seen a lot of really positive growth. And, you know, I think the, a real challenge for football teams this time of year is can you continue to get better? So once again, Iowa State remains in the driver's seat with a chance to control their destiny and get one step closer to locking up a spot in the Big 12 championship. The Cyclones are now 6-2 and two overall and 6-1 and one in the conference. Reporting outside Jack Trice Stadium, Elgin Rucker, KCCI, Iowa Sports Leader. So Oklahoma beat Oklahoma State tonight in the only other Big 12 game. Here's where we're at. Iowa State with two games left at Texas, then at uh, home to West Virginia. A win over Texas in Austin almost puts you there regardless of what happens with West Virginia. You win both. You are definitely headed to Dallas for your first ever Big 12 championship game.